as for me, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for the intention of the parishioners of St. Jude. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop, St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, put your house in order, for you are about to die. You shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. O Lord, Remember how faithfully and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go, tell Hezekiah, thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. In three days you shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add 15 years to your life. I will rescue you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil that he might recover. Then Hezekiah asked, What is the sign that I shall go up to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This will be the sign for you from the Lord, that he will do what he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway to the terrace of Ahaz. Go back the ten steps it has advanced. So the sun came back the te ten steps it had advanced. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
Responsorial Psalm. You saved my life, O Lord, and I shall not die. Life, O Lord, and I shall not die. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You saved my life, my life, Lord, I shall not die. Please stand for the reading of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain to eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions but only the priests could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
before we go into a store, <coughs> we look at the window and we see the business hours displayed. We look to see when the store is open, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, or whatever it may be. Before we go to the doctor's office, we look and see what hours the doctor is available. That is the way the Pharisees were thinking. They were thinking in terms of business hours only. But God does not work that way. God doesn't have business hours. God is with us all the time. And that is what Jesus was trying to teach the Pharisees. We can talk to God any time of day through prayer, in our actions, and in our love. God is a 24-7 God. And our time with him is eternal. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Bonaventure. There's a good story about him and how he got his name. When he was a child, he fell ill and his mother prayed for her son to be healed her son who was in great danger of death. And as she prayed, she heard this voice that said, Bonaventure, good fortune, good luck. And in Italian, that word has that meaning. And it was through those prayers to St. Francis that she, her son was healed and received his name. For us, we can have good fortune and we can have good luck as we pray and cry out to God and as we work to spread his love on earth. The first reading today is a beautiful story of Hezekiah and his prayers, and he crying out to God in his danger, in his sickness. And God heard his prayers and answered them. And God added years to his life. That story shows us how we should continue to pray to God and of his saving work with us. I remember back when I was in seminary and I was driving and I just suddenly felt this call that I needed to pray and make time for prayer. So I stopped at a nearby church and hoped that it was open and I went into the church and I saw the tabernacle with the red candle and I went and I prayed. And that time of prayer is so important for our souls. I know many people think that prayer isn't helpful. It's not going to work. It's not going to do anything. But God's will is different than our plans. When we pray, beautiful things can happen. When we have that dialogue with God. God is with us in the good times and in the bad times, and he is with us in our challenges. I remember recently I was talking to my friend from California whose mother just passed away, and this is only three years after her husband passed away. And so I was talking to this friend who has experienced such tremendous loss in such a short period of time. And talking with her was helpful. But at the same time, being there and being present to that person who is in that time of loss and turmoil is so important. People are looking for that bona venture 
in their lives. And those good things can happen and can come to them. But we must be patient and persevere in prayer. Happy feast day of St. Bonaventure. Let us pray. For all members of the church, may the Lord continue to care for and graciously watch over them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those entrusted with leadership, may the Spirit of Christ inspire them in governing with integrity and a servant's heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who suffer under any kind of burden or unmet need, may God look graciously upon them and grant them relief and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered together today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they rest eternally in God's loving arms. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray in a special way for the parishioners of St. Jude, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of our military, living and dead, that they may enjoy their reward for their sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing all of the prayers that we offer you, and we know that you answer them as we seek to do your will. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. I'll accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking 
of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.